All right, good morning. I think I finally got this where I want it. Okay. So, I got a, a beef bouillon cube in here and I'm gonna add some hot water to that. Making a marinade for my uh, London broil. About a $9 piece of London broil, so it's only two of us. But I want it to be tender, so I gotta really and I don't have one of those tenderizing mallets. So I really want to beat that crud out of this meat. So I am st currently stabbing it with a fork. Okay, hopefully tenderize it. I don't have one of those mallets. But after I do it with a fork, we are going to go over it. With a... Oh, man. The only thing I can think of... And the reason is, is we're trying to break up all those tendons there that make it so tough of a piece of meat. So that's what we're doing. Getting those split apart, broken up into pieces. So then the meat can just flourish and soak up all the marinade and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's important to really, really get this a lot. And I don't have, like I said, I don't have a mallet. So, uh, yeah, this side looks good. And we're just gonna do a little more. The beating part of it. Turn it over. Do the same thing to the side. I wonder if I should cut off that fat. Uh, I think it would make it more juicy not to, right? I mean, this could be... Not for sure. I'm going to cut off some of this. like a tendon right there. There we go. Yeah, boy, this is tough meat. <coughs> I can already tell. It's very tough. Um, it's going to be tender by the time I get done with it, though. Tender or die, bitch. Tender or die. All right. See, it doesn't even want to get cut through. All right, there we go. Got it. You can see all those tendons. All right. I don't know what I'm talking about. So, this I think I might leave. I don't know yet. But tenderizing the other side. I'm going to stab right through that. Right through that. Well, Feel that one going right through the meat, man. It is a tough one too. All right, this is gonna take a while. I need it to suck up all the marinating juices. thing. score it a little bit too as well. There we go. This 
say, it is bad to be tender after all this work. <laughs> it does look a lot, does look a lot bigger. I think cutting off some of the fat is a bad thing. I think cutting off all the fat is a bad thing, but not some of the fat. I got this side juicing up on me right here. That's a good sign. That is a very good sign. That is kind of into a bleeding mode there. So this has got a full beef bouillon. Almost looks like chicken. It's so weird. It does say hips. Obviously I think it's chicken. Maybe it was in the wrong box. I took it out of the beef box for sure, but I got something for that. Sure I do. I don't think it matters either way. I think I have some better than bullion. Or I may have used it all. It would be in the door here if I had it. And no, but we are going to use a little bit of this. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. And a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Bit of that, and maybe even a little bit of lemon and some Worcestershire. And this is just for the marinade, this is not what I'm going to be cooking it in. So, we're just going to do a little bit of this, and a little bit of that, and a little bit of this, and a little bit of that, right into the bag. Right into the bag. Up. Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Did you want a mustard? A neon puppy? Garlic up out there. Parsley. Nice. A nice flavor. A paprika. Some paprika. And this paprika, it's crazy. It won't, it gets stuck in the holes because the holes are too small for the paprika. And then I gotta keep tilting it back. Sometimes if I squeeze it, it works. There's a lot of paprika in there, so we're good there. We're gonna put some meat tenderizer in there because we want this roast to be really tender. All right, so we've got that. There, there, come on, get in there. All right, and we got some cilantro, dried cilantro, so we're gonna pour a little bit of that in there. I might not even need this. Oh, look at that. We need some salt. And some pepper. I might want to just open this. There we go. Olive oil. white 
Wayne Bailey again. Maybe I'll pour about half in there. Once it's cooled off, it might not be cooled off enough. Put the meat in there. Oh yeah, it's fine. I think it's fine. I don't know. I'm gonna put it in the fridge. Good. Okay, we're gonna put this in here. Get the air out of the bag. We're gonna try and get this to lay flat. There we go. all nice and set up in that meat get it all nice and in the holes still feels pretty you know, I might have to beat it one more time afterwards all right then I'm going to get a dish for This will be fine. I will I'm going to use this pan. Perfect. There we go. We want that side down. You put the fatty side up. Meat side down gets in the marinade more. Just a little air in there, though. germaphobe because I'll eat dirt I don't care but I'm a clean I'm, I'm everybody thinks I'm a germaphobe because I'm so clean I like things clean I don't think it's about the germs it's about the cleanliness so I'm a little kind of stuck in my ways that way it was hard having kids being kind of a cleanophobe maybe I'm a cleanophobe that's going to marinate in the refrigerator for hours and hours. <coughs> Get all this cleaned up. I mean, it could have had a hole. Who knows? I don't want meat goobers on my rolling pin. So I just choose to clean it. There we go. One time I pulled it out and it had um, like crusty bread dough all over it. Apparently, that day I was making bread, I decided, uh, oh no, it doesn't even need to be washed. And I put it right back in the drawer. <laughs> then the next time I pulled it out, I'm like, what the hell is this? So, and so I had to clean out my drawer and everything because it had been sitting in there for quite a while. All right, refrigerator, 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 refrigerator. We're going to put these away. You know, I might have a dessert in there. Look at this. is sitting up here, really. This was on the top shelf. Surprising. I think this was too. There we go. I always have like these little 
Crumbs in my mouth. It drives me crazy. pepper there. All this goes back in the cabinet, which is behind you. So you can't see me right now because I am behind the camera. Bumping the camera, making it all move and shit. All right, that's put away. And this unfortunately will be, and I think it was chicken and that's why I didn't use it all. Really, it looked like chicken, act like chicken, taste like chicken. It was chicken. It was chicken. All right, so we are cleaned up. And I am ready for a break already in my day. So I'm gonna take you over to my desk over here. And uh, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about something else other than cooking. 